Yes, touch it all. <laughs> touch it all. Oh, Roots. You thought you got to come in here, you know, play your little showdown of skulls, but it's my showdown of skulls now. It's mine now. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Max Malone. Thank you all so very freaking much for tuning in. Dude, it's been 10 days. Where have you been? I've been waiting here every single day. I've been refreshing your side and there was nothing. Oh, uh, well, I took a 10 break, a 10 day break, you know, just to go to Command Fest Frankfurt, which was super amazing. I met a lot of cool freaking people there. If you're one of them, thanks for saying hi. And uh, yeah, I then went to my hometown to practice with my band because there's a concert coming up. Oh, yes, and it's going to be glorious. Did I relax at all in these 10 days? Well, I was four days of train riding through the heat, and always at least five hours of train riding, so if you want to call that relaxing, yes I did, but otherwise, no man, I'm still just as tired as the moment that I left, but you know, there's no rest for the master of mono black, so enough with the yammering, let's get into the mono black discord hammering, oh baby, oh baby, what do you even need new cabana for, well the shakedown heavy's not that bad, you know, Getting in there with the 6-4 menace, people don't want to give you a card usually, especially in the top deck wars, they don't want to give you a card, and he will take it, he will take whatever, be it, be it damage, be it a card, be it a, like, you know, stealing some of your opponents, I don't know, removal or whatever, and that is just super freaking nice, and for the rest of the deck, we just go with the good old, good old, discard sacrifice package. So, we do have the Acquisition Expert, Alifang Disciple combo, just always good, these two together are just such a team, you know, uh, if you have the Alifang Disciple out together with the Acquisition Expert, you look at, first you make him discard one, then you look at two of their cards, and that is just super freaking good, we like that, we freaking do freaking like that. We have the Shamley Boy as a one drop, and together with the Deadly Dispute, we do have a lot of things that we can sacrifice to the Deadly freaking Dispute, and I like that. Just look at her stealing this little brooch or ring. Is it a ring? It's a ring. It's a ring. A weird looking ring, but a ring nevertheless. This ring will be mine. Mine, I tell you. So, these will discard pretty darn good. And if you have your Turgrid out, you know, these cards will be yours. Freaking delicious. I love it. There we have the Inscription of Ruin. This can either be a kill spell, which is good enough, or it can be a discard spell, which is also pretty good. In the worst case, it brings back one of these creatures, you know. But if they only have two cards or one card in hand, that is pretty good. Like, let's say they have one card in hand, and you get one of these back. You have a creature, and they discard a card. And that is pretty darn amazing, if I say so myself. But, but, if you ever get to seven mana, you get to destroy some of their things, make them discard two, and bring back one of your little creatures here. That is already pretty darn good. We cannot bring back the Shakedown Heavy, but that is no problem, because we do play Blood on Snow, so we can bring back later the Shakedown Heavy. We do have the Enrique Dominati as well. It is just super good with the stack, because you either draw a card and lose one life, which is already value, or you transform her into the Infernal Seer, which gives you life, you know, because she is a life linker now, or you sacrifice one of your little creatures, they sacrifice the only creature they have, if your Turgrid is out, now you even steal that freaking creature. What else do you want? Well, invoke Despair, of course. Invoke freaking Turgrid's Despair. This combination is just so dirty. If they happen to have a creature, a Planeswalker, and an enchantment, now for five mana you steal them all. You just steal them all. And that is so good. And if they don't have anything, you get a card. And they also casually lose two life for everything they don't have. So that is just pretty much exactly what I want. Of course, a black deck with a Sorin is always good because it gives you life and it makes you look at cards. And if you ever get to the minus seven, you can even deal 13 damage. And together with the Shakedown Heavy and Turgrid Dust, which are menace creatures, you will be having a pretty good time. And if you're up against, I don't know, Boros, for example, or another aggro deck, this 2-3 lifelinker vampire will be coming pretty clutch. And if you have your Henrika out, you know the Infernal Sia, and your Sorin vampire, now you can even push the vampire to become a 3-4, a 3-3, and that is pretty darn good. If you get in there for that 7 life swing, 
I think you will have a pretty good time, my friends. I think you will. So, removal-wise, we do have the inscription, we do have the infernal grasp, we do have three Medoc maskers, super important, and we do have the two blood on the snow. And later on, once our opponent's uh, resources are dwindled down, we just attack him with our three Hive the eye turns, and that's freaking it. And yes, this deck is exactly what I love about magic, just being pure freaking mono black, good deliciousness evilness. Oh yes, shaking down the locals, it's going to be a great old time, I can tell you that much. Also, yes, I will be participating in the Early Access event, so make sure to tune in tomorrow when we're doing that. Is there anything left to say? I don't know. Did I lose a little bit of energy? No, it's Monday. What do you expect? It's Monday. All right, so thank you all so very freaking much. I'm Max Malone, this is Shake Down the Locals, and I will see you in those discarding games. I'm back, baby. Mmm, as if I've never left. Zero friends online exactly the way it's supposed to be. And we're up against Gawain. Oh my, I think there's something wrong with my sound. I have to fix it real quick. Uh, yes, yes, okay. Well, there should be sound now. Good, good. All right, opponent's going first. I don't mind. If we're up against an aggressive deck, we have a very nice hand here. A very, very nice hand. Opponent's mulliganing down. That is never good. And it's runes. Okay. Well, we will see how this turns out. Maybe it will be good. Maybe it will be bad. Well, it looks bad already. I have to say, <laughs> it looks pretty darn bad already, man. Pretty darn freaking bad already. But we will see. Like, afterwards, you know, there won't be too much they can do. Even if they draw one card for each card that they, like, you know, play, that is still all right. The communal with the spirits, all right. So they need either a land here or, uh, well, they, they took the land. If they don't play anything here, the rune of sustenance. Okay, that is still fine, kind of, because I will look at both their cards. So yeah, I will take one hit here, but only one. Oh my, okay. Well, I'd rather have it to destroy the Jukai Naturalist, to be honest. I was thinking about using the Inscription of Ruin here. Oh, yeah, you can, you can leave. You, 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 you have to leave. You can just go, man. Room for a champion top deck, really now. Oh, really now. Okay. So, we're, uh, we're blocking here. And uh, then we can use the Inscription to destroy one of their creatures. And we will. And we freaking will. Yes. But which one is the question? Well, I think I actually get rid of the generous visitor here. Yes. Yes, I do. I would like to, um, you know, do something else, but I think the generous visitor here is the smart call. Because even if they play something here, we still have the Medoc Massacre to destroy everything they own. Well, that is pretty darn good, isn't it? Yes, it is. Oh, yes it is. So we could either play the Turgrid here. And I think that that's the right call. Now you know what, before they can go ham. Before they can go ham, we're doing this now. And then next turn we can play the Turgrid. Also, I appreciate how much land we drew here. Like we're on seven lands and 12 cards. Normal, just a normal amount, you know. There's nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all, nothing at all. All right, commune with spirits. Very good. So if they find like a hasty creature, you know, I think that was the right call. We will see. We will freaking see. So this was a three. Oh my, okay. That is questionable to say the least. But we're still going with the target here. And the next turn we do have the Infernal Grasp into Hive of the Eye Tyrant question mark. We could do that. We could do that. But I think they will just go with the shake, uh, with the uh, showdown of the Skulls here. Yeah, just as I thought. Oh my, okay, well that is a lot of things. That indeed is a lot of freaking things. So do we have enough for both? We do have enough for both. So we will go with the Turgrid. And uh, we will see where they're putting their things. Right now we're getting rid of the Rune of Sustenance. Just in case, you know? Just in freaking case. Alrighty. More freaking Roddy. So, we're still drawing a lot of lands. I, I really do not appreciate that too much. The Jukai Naturalista. 
And what else though? The rune of speed. Yeah, ain't gonna happen. I think that this is pretty much crippling their ability to do anything here. They will not draw a card. They will not get anything. Good day to you, sir. I said good day. All right, and we're still slamming in there. I mean, give me one darn good reason why I shouldn't. They need exactly one more rune of speed. And uh, we got rid of one of them. So yeah, put him down to 20. Feels good. So now we're both empty-handed. And we're stealing the frick. Yes, please, I totally forgot about that part. Oh, ain't it a beauty. Ain't it a freaking beauty. So whatever you don't play here will be gonzo to the Alifang, my friend. To the freaking Alifangs. Mmm, delicious. Yes, touch it all. <laughs> touch it all. Oh, roots. You thought you got to come in here, you know, play your little showdown of skulls, but it's my showdown of skulls now. It's mine now. Exactly. <laughs> so, Gawain, what you doing, Gawain? What are you freaking doing here? Yeah, these are all my things that I will be playing. You can, you can, you can touch them as much as you want. You can touch my cards as much as you want. Won't change too much, will it now? Oh, no, it won't. Oh, no, it won't. Alrighty, do you have a red sword though? Oh, that's how you're doing it. That is how you're doing it. Alright, still it ain't enough. It's just not enough, you know? Just not enough. Alright, we can block here. There's no reason not to. Make ourselves a little treasure. One man's treasure is another man's treasure. Alright. And now let us see what you gonna do about everything here. Whatever you discard will be mine. I don't think you have any more commune with the spirits. Yes, yes, exactly. Touch it. Touch it and find out that there's even more things going on here than meets the eyes. Whatever you discard is going to be mine. Oh, uh, what? What? Why? Why? Why did you do that, man? Why did you do that? You know what? Just for the heck of it. Just for the freaking heck of it, man. All right, we're putting it here. This is mine now. This is mine now. Yes. <laughs> oh, my lord. Why did you give me another showdown of the skulls, man? Why did you do it? Oh, opponent, you dimwit. Why did you do it? Get out of here, man. Get out of here. <laughs> that was just freaking beautiful, man. That was... We drew so much land. And still got him so good. Mm. Chef's kiss delicious. So we're going first. Can we draw land? Oh, that is all it. All that I'm asking for. Just some land, you know? Let's give him a friendly waiver of the hello. Hello. All right. Oh, we're both with the tanuki. My little friend here. How you doing? How you doing? It's mono freaking green. Alrighty. We got the land. Alrighty. So let's just go ahead and do this. I mean, there's literally no reason not to. We do have the inscription. We do have the Enrica. We're getting rid of a land here. All right. Mmm, juicy. Juicy. The sculpture of winter. Yeah, you, you, my friend, will have to go right away. Right freaking away. Right away. Yeah. Could have gone with the inscription of ruin here, but I think I'd rather keep it. Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I keep it. Because who knows, maybe we draw some more land and we will go into Turgrid mode and then we will be happy about it. Another Ascendant Pack Leader. Oh my, okay, that is a lot of juice. That is indeed a lot of freaking juice here. Okay, well in that case, you know, let's just, uh, let me see. Let me draw here. Alright, the land is freaking perfection, I like it, I really do. Because we can go Turgrid into Inscription, you know. Ovenwald Oddity. I kind of expected that sooner or later, to be honest. I kind of did. All right. What? That is four of them. That is just freaking four. Get out of here, game. Get freaking out of here, man. Unheard of. Un freaking heard of, man. Okay. So. Can we go without transforming her? I don't think so. I think we have to transform her here. And then just block away, you know? The Sculpture of Winter. What are you doing? Nothing? 
You're just doing nothing. All right, well, it's still at least one card here. And draw some more. Feels about right, you know. So whatever they, you know, yeah, that, that will be mine. That will be freaking mine. Okay, that is pretty good. I like it. I really, really do. So can we afford attacking in here? Six, seven, nine, we can because we're going back to ten. All right, I like where this is going. I mean, this is mono freaking green and they had three ascendant pack leaders. So yeah. All right, that is six, but you need seven. Oh. 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 Okay. Yeah, all right. I, I did not expect that, to be honest. I honestly didn't. Honestly, did not expect it to be freaking honest. Well, I mean, hello there. <laughs> hello there. Well, I will be blocking here like this. Yes, I think that is the right call. Oh, you know what? Is it though? I think I'm going to block here like this. Okay. So we're going down to four. <laughs> that was a little unexpected, I have to say. I really have to say. So, can we do more than one thing here? Can we now? Well, we actually can. So we will be stealing one more creature here. That is pretty darn tasty. And, uh, yeah. And we do have the blockers. We now even have the deadly dispute. Does that help us anything? No, but we can untap Snowlands here now. That is pretty darn good. So let me see. We destroy this Ulvenwald oddity. And uh, the reason why I'm doing it right away is because they could have like something to protect it, you know? And I don't want that to happen. So, now we're getting in there for three. We're going back to five. They fight one of my creatures. We still have enough creatures to survive. Okay, good, good, real good. And they scoop. Get out of here, Mono Green. The master of Mono Colors is here. And it's me, the master of Mono Freaking Black. Did you see that? Did you like it? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And it was glorious, glorious. Thank you, Eva Malone. Thank you so much. Alrighty, Mono Green down. I like it. That was a very nice game. A very nice show off. Okay, we do have the freaking shakedown heavy for the first freaking time. So let's freaking keep it. Yes, I said freaking a lot. And here we go. I mean, hey, you know, we can always destroy this for a treasure if we really have to. But I think, is this another Mono Green? Just another Mono Green right away. Okay, I mean, that's not even half that bad, you know, it's, it's, it's still alright. It's still alright. We do have the Infernal Grasp, so yeah. Oh, it's not. It is not. It is ruins once more. What the heck, man? What the living heck? Okay. I still think that this is the right call. You know, it just feels right. And we're still, like, you know, in the same amount of mana. So, hey, all good. All freaking good. So, do you have your rune, Doctor here? The Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Mm, okay. So let us see what our opponent lets us do here. We'll be going to attacks. We are attacking him with everything. Because give me one darn good reason why I shouldn't. Are you giving me a card? Are you giving... They're not giving me a card. Okay. Oh, what? All right. You're losing your creature here. You know that, Lin, right? You will be losing that little gobo. Okay. So people are still playing the CGB uh, runes list. That is all right. We can do so, I don't mind. And whatever they do, we have this, so I'm pretty confident that we will be, like, alright here, you know? Oh, I just wish I had my Turgrid with this. I just wish I had her here right now with me. The Legion freaking ain't what? 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 What is going on here? What the heck is going on here? Okay. Reveal, yes, why not? Why the living heck not? Okay, so we will be getting rid of these two things here. That is all right. And they just scoop. Just, just scoop, you know. Hey, oh, in the eyes of the man of Mono Black. What you gotta do but scoop. Get out of here, whatever this was. What, 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 what did, 
what just happened? What, what was that? What was... The game was so weird, not even my sunglasses know what to do anymore. What, what was this game, man? It was just crazy. All right, we go first. We don't have too much to do in the first game, a few turns, but we do have the Enrica, so yeah. I feel like whatever we draw here will be good. Uh, what? Why is everybody playing runes, man? Why is everybody playing runes? All right, but whatever you do, we do with the inscription of ruin here. Of ruins here, so yeah, I'm fine with it. I'm actually fine with it. We will just get rid of this Jukai naturalist. Absolutely, freaking lutely get rid of it. And, uh, yeah. Then we play the Henrika. And depending on what to do, and we can do even more shtick. So, yeah, we, we're fine. We're fine. It's what I'm saying. And we're absolutely fine. We do have the Shakedown Heavy here. And we will just see. You know, I, I feel like the Henrika is the right call. Drawing us a card. You know, all of the Shibuang. Just getting in it for two. Okay. I think that destroying this was the right freaking call, you know? Just the right freaking call. Alrighty. Alrighty. I still feel like this is also the right call, you know? And we're transforming her. But they, they cannot be attacking any nilly willy. Unless, of course, they have the, uh, the, the, the exile target deck. Not a generous visitor. Okay. The Kami of Trans... All right, yeah, they're going pretty ham. They, they, that is what I'm saying. They're going pretty darn ham is what I'm saying, man. Pretty darn ham. Okay. All right, go ham, my friend. Go ham. It's okay. I don't mind. I don't I don't need anything, you know? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm getting rid of this right away. There's literally no freaking reason not to. We're gaining life and all of it. So, yeah, it is pretty much okay. So, we're doing this. Mm, sacrificing here. Maybe we even find a land. That would be pretty darn good. We did find a land. Alrighty. All freaking righty. So, we're chilling here. I don't think they have too many more runes. Otherwise, they would have played them, you know? Oh, my sweet lord. Seriously? How are they all freaking doing this? How? freaking how just you know a small question that i have here just the smallest of all questions all right they will be bringing down this uh, rune of might here i'm pretty darn certain about it pretty darn freaking certain about it okay all right get out of here this is three or less so i don't really care about it too much do i now I kind of do, because of our Turgrid, you know. I really don't want to block with that, but we will see. Making this card something here is still pretty darn tasty. And we will steal that showdown of the Skulls, and we will steal this as well. Okay, well, I mean, if you want to give it to me, just go ahead. Give it to me. I'll take it. I'll freaking take it. Yeah, read the Turgrid. Read it and weep. So they can go ahead and play these two. But then it's kind of it, you know. Well, maybe they ain't kind of it. Maybe they still have more things. Which would be brutal. Pretty darn brutal, man. Pretty darn freaking brutal, man. Okay, uh, yeah, we're, we're not looking too tasty here, you know. We're not looking too tasty. But maybe we find something to work with. That would be nice. Just whatever it is, I gladly take it, you know. Well, it's a land. That is honestly nothing to work with, you know. <laughs> nothing to freaking work with, man. But the thing is, we would steal this now. So, hey. Yes. Please give it to me. Yes. Nice. Thank you very much. As long as you don't find a freaking rune here, we we will survive. Okay. We will survive here. We do now have the Elephant Disciple, so we can block with everything. Oh, come on, What? Oh, this will be four runes. All of them trample. I can already see it happening, man. I can already see it happening. All of them trample. Well, there is one trample rune for free. There is one of them. Are you kidding me? What? No way, man. Two trample runes. Here comes the second trample rune. Just like that. Just like that. And they're playing them for free. Well, there is only one trample rune up until now. But, you know, they're drawing three cards here. So, yeah. Yeah. Pretty cool, ain't it? 
pretty freaking cool, ain't it? Oh my lord, as long as I don't find a second trampa room. That is all I care about. Them not finding a second trample rune. Because then we cannot block efficiently anymore. Or can we? Well, we'll have to find out all together now, don't we? That is no trample rune. That is still no freaking trample rune. Holy freaking smokes. Please don't have it. Please don't have it. Of course they have it, man. Come on. Come the freaking heck on, man. Come on. But if that is it, we still survive here, kinda. No, it's exact freaking lethal. <laughs> Just. Oh my lord. Like, come on, man. What the living heck was this, man? What the heck? Three showdown of the skulls in a row, you know. Just three of them. In a row. Get out of here, shuffle up. Get out of here. You know, just three showdown off the skulls. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, there's like okay, just runes, you know, just runes. As if they needed help, man. As if you needed help, runes. You monsters. You freaking monsters. You did it. Took it up. Alright. We do have the acquisition expert into his inscription of ruin. Oh, it's is it. I do not like that too much. They have a lot of card draw. But I feel like, you know, with this combo right here, we can do some stuff. And we will. We will do some stuff. Alright, let's go ahead and play the Acquisition Expert here. We'll have a look at one of their cards. The Jafari Disruption. Was that really needed for an Acquisition Expert? Was that really needed, my friend? I don't know, man. I really, I really don't know, Hikasaper. All right, still gonna make a discard here. But how is the question? I'm just going to use this here and make him discard too. Yes, yes, yes. That is all right. The next turn we play the Enrico Domnati. The spell pierce. Oh my lord, really? <laughs> what the heck, man? <laughs> What the living heck, man? Okay, well, that is a good target for my Henrika, you know? Oh, uh, yes, make him sack. Make him sacrifice! Oh, my lord. Maybe we can draw land here? That would be greatly appreciated because I know they did not deal with stuff like this, you know, and I do not like that stuff. Oh, my, the Voltage Surge. And they still do have a land. Well, ain't that amazing. You know what? You know what? If they do have a counter spell, they probably want to use it on this. Because they're pretty much out of cards, you know? And Invoke Despair is still looking pretty tasty here. Oh, my sweet baby Jesus. They really had another Javari disruption. They do have another Hinata. Please give me a land here. Please just give me a freaking land here, game. Please? No? No land? Okay, well, I'm still destroying this here now, aren't I? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. What is your last glorious card? Oh, nothing. I like that. Did we really keep him from doing anything? I sure bet we did. All right. Here we go with the Shakedown Heavy here. And the next turn we can go with the Sauron. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's still two away from playing the Magma Opus, you know? That is pretty darn good. The Valor is dead. Well, I do not care about that too much. I really, really do not care about that too much. Play the Sauron now. Unless they have exactly a spell pierce, we're kind of fun. I'm gonna get... Okay, I did not think about that one, did I now? How many counter spells are you running, my friend? How many? The Reckoner Blank Buster. Well, that is pretty darn annoying, isn't it? Yes, the answer is yes, it is. Pretty darn annoying. Am I really going with an Invoke Despair onto an empty field here? I might. I really might. Yeah, I am. They don't have a counter spell right now, and that draws me, like, a lot of freaking cards. A lot of freaking cards. Okay. So we do have this blood on snow also, which is pretty darn tasty. The drawing, that is like, that was like, wow. 
insanely good for them. Freaking insanely good for them. Alrighty. That is the... F okay, I, I, I... Okay, okay, yeah, alright. That is fine. I don't mind. You can do so. You can freaking do so. You have another... Take two... Look at all of their freaking counter spells, man. Look at all of them. Just all of them, man. What is the last card? Another magma. Get out of here, game. Get freaking out of here, man. Holy smokes. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> I'm just still utterly freaking impressed here, game. Utterly freaking impressed. Like, we finally managed to get rid of all of their freaking cards and then stuff like this happens. That is just freaking amazing. I don't want to do the Blood on Snow yet, because they still have other things that I really don't want to see, you know? They have another Magma Opus in hand? Are you kidding me? Are you seriously freaking kidding me, man? Okay, it's not like, you know, we got rid of one of them right away. It's not like that. Never happened. Never happened. Never. You know, it just never happened. It Pure coincidence. No shot. Nothing. It just happened, you know? Just freaking happened. All right. Insanity, man. Insanity. Three magma opuses. All of the counter spells in the known universe. And now even a freaking gold span dragon. Yeah, why not? Why the freaking heck not? Okay, I mean, hey, it's totally fine. No, there's nothing to see here. Nothing to worry about. I'm all good. As long as you don't have another counter. If they really... If their last freaking two cards are counter spells. We were supposed to lose this. That is all I'm freaking saying. All I'm freaking saying. If these now are counter spells, we were supposed to use this. Get out of here, man. Get freaking out of here. I think the Sauron is the most value here. That is why I'm doing it. And we know that they only have one Magma Opus left, left which is kind of their win con. Kinda. Alright, I like the... What? is going on today man what was the why did you just surrender here what why you were winning dude you were winning oh get out of here freaking jeskai he nodded get out of here that was such a weird win man i can't even like celebrate it i was just so utterly confused man just utterly freaking confused. Alrighty. But hey, you know, sometimes people just fear the man of the black so much that they know. Whatever I do here, I have no chance of winning. And I think that that is just what happened. I'm just <laughs> utterly confused. What? Uh, confusion never stops. Confusion never stops. Are you like a, like a, I don't know, Selesnia token deck? Counter, you know, counter deck? I don't know. We'll have to find out. I feel like the Infernal Grasp is a really good card to have here. Like, I don't know why, but it sure feels like it. Sure it does feel like it. So, Inscription of Ruin is also here. We do have the Invoke, but we don't have mana right now. But we will find mana. They are. They are a Celesnia weird, weirdness deck. Okay. The Dragon's Guard Elite. I'm, I am I kind of want to get rid of that right away. Like, not even chill. Not even chill in one second. That is, like, very, very dangerous for now. Because we don't have any mana. But we do have the Acquisition Expert next turn. And we can still chill a little bit, you know. All we need to do is to find a mana here, maybe. Oh, what? Okay. All right. Yeah. That is not good, though. That is not good at all. All right. But we do have this. So, yeah. I don't think that they can, like, you know, give it protection or whatever. And we will just be chilling here. Take a look at two of their cards. It will give me, hopefully, not only lands. Only lands would be pretty darn annoying. But, hey, I don't think that they have too many freaking, you know, snakeskin veils and whatever. 
We just have to uh, hope to find the land next turn. Hey, if we do find the land next turn, we still have the inscription of ruin. Oh my, okay, yeah, that, that needs to go. <laughs> the protection that is pretty darn good here. So, maybe it was kind of a Celestia counter stack. They do have the protection spell, which is a little bit annoying, but we're still kind of fine. As long as we can block here with, I don't know, the acquisition expert. I will be blocking with the acquisition expert. It kind of forces them to do things. Kind of freaking forces them to do things. Alrighty. What are the things that you're doing? Yeah, that is kind of what I expected. What? Okay, that is not what I expected, to be honest. Not at all. The trample here? Pretty brutal, man. Pretty brutal. Let's just hope they don't have another one of those. If they do, it would be pretty darn bad. Well, won't you look at that. <laughs> it's a land, but it's a tapped land. I could have gotten rid of your last two cards here, my friend. Could have gotten rid of them. Oh, my sweet lord. Okay, all right. So, even if they do have another wild shape here, we will see if they do. We will freaking see if they do. Holy smokes, man. Holy freaking smokes. They do have another one. Hey, what do you know? What do you freaking know, man? They really do have two of those, and we're struggling to find a third land. <laughs> okay. Well, that is still only eight damage, you know? That is still only eight. For now. Uh, create a treasure. No land still? What? Oh, get out of here. Out of here, game. Get, just get out of here, man. Just get freaking out of here. There's the land now. There it is. Okay. So, we're going with the Invoke Despair. There's no shot we don't. No freaking shot we don't. I really want to get rid of this Virtuoso. And I don't think that they have any way of ever giving it haste, you know? Yeah, ever. No way, Jose. This does give Hexproof, Reach, and Trample, but no haste. No haste. Do you have a flash creature now? Okay, I was just thinking maybe they did. You know, maybe they did have a flash creature. We're of course not attacking insta. Still need to be careful. I don't want to, you know, like, just do nilly willy things here. Just not at all. All Roddy. No freaking Roddy. We go with the acquisition expert first. So we will see what they have here. We will discard two of their things. And then we can still, you know, destroy this dragon's guard elite. So that is still pretty good. Holy freaking smokes. We were digging for a lair for so long, but here we got it. Call me Long John Silver because the treasure is my. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you seriously freaking kidding me? Okay, I mean, hey, it just, just, just is what it is, you know? We could go for the lantern, but I'd rather go for the life linker here. Holy freaking smokes. So they really have to do something here. You know, I will triple block here. Do I though? No, I don't triple block here. I want to see what they have. And I want to go with the Turgrid next turn. And as long as, like, you know, they just have three wild shapes. Like, why not? You know, why the heck not? All right. Are you all right, Mr. Kaku? Sheesh, man. Sheesh. All right. They're not attacking in, though. That is nice to see. Okay. Now we do have the And they skip! Holy freaking smoke shuffler! Is everything okay? Should I call your parents to pick you up? Like, what the hell, man? Two dragon scar to lead, three wild shapes, you know? Just get, get out of here, man. Get out of here, shuffler. Get out of here. All right, let's have one last game against the Shuffle. Why not? It's been a long time that I've not been playing Magic. It's just, just almost the same start as before, but our opponent's going first this time. Well, sure as heck is. Oh, my lord. Mirror match. Exact same start right away. I like it. I really do. Let us see if they're also discard. Are you? Are you also discard? Oh, no. Okay, okay. I see. I see. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. All good. I like it. Okay. 
He just attacked again. That is fine by me. That is absolutely fine by me. Let's go with the acquisition expert here. We could still, you know, sacrifice this to draw them some. La -di -da. I don't care about that too much. I really do not care about it too much. Go with it right away. That is fine still. This is going to be a grindy one, my friends. This is indeed going to be a freaking grind fest. We're up against uh, almost the same deck and they drew land. That is why they're doing this now. Just that they're playing red as well. They might be playing my version from last time. We don't know. If there is a turret grid common here, we do know. If there is not, well, then it's good. But they might be doing something for five here. Invoke despair. Okay. Alright. That is two cards for them. That is a lot of freaking value. I do not appreciate the too much game. I really don't. But we're still kind of fine here, you know. We uh, we have our own deadly dispute here. We do have our own Invoke Despairs to find. We could still do things. Invoke Despair, man, really. Tainted Adversary. How much do I care about that? Not in the slightest. How much? Three. Well, we will see what they're doing. Oh, the double tainted adversary. Where well, ain't that, Pichadori? Let's get rid of one of them then. One of them then. Another land. How happy am I about this? Not at all, to be honest. <laughs> Five lands here. Yeah, that is still a normal ratio, but uh, I still don't like it. You know, it's. I don't have to like it just because it's happening. Shambly boy will be sacrificed to deadly dispute here. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and do that. I don't mind at all. I'll just do this now. Get myself some value. Get myself a treasure. All the value. This is just insane freaking value. Okay. Interesting. Pretty darn interesting. I just... Okay, they have up Nixilis here. Okay. That is fine by me. That is absolutely fine by me because I do have the blood on snow here. So hey, oh, what you gonna do here now? You work for me now, Resolve the decline. Yeah, decline. And you lose everything. Ah, oh, shut up, you. Shut up. All right, we're bringing down the pain here. Destroy all planeswalkers. Yes. <laughs> I bet you thought you were safe. But you earned. You earned safe. Okay. So, we can do this all over again next turn. Just do it all over again. It kind of looks like my version from last time. But I did not have the Tainted Adversary. Oh, okay, yeah. You know, normal. Just normal. Just freaking normal. But the thing is, I can discard the sword in here and bring it back. Double value, my friends. Double freaking value. And, uh, yeah, decline. You can have it. You can have it. It's okay. It's all right. I'm only a little bit saddened. All right. Destroy our planeswalkers once more. How many more do you have? How many more of Nixalai do you have? I am the planeswalker now. Shake down the locals. Shake down your booty, man. Because I'm here now. Mm, come on, man. Tense. You have a third of Nixalai. Can we really only be playing against people that have two and three and four of everything? Do we now? We will have to find out now, don't we? So the 24 in life is super annoying. Oh my, this is also super annoying. But uh, not the end of the world annoying. Not at all. Not yet all. Well, that is a little annoying, but once more, still not the end of the world annoying. So let us see what we can find here. Is it, uh, okay, the Shambly Boy is all right. That is absolutely all right. Nothing on Innistra is free. Nothing ever is free. Okay. So we will see what our opponent is doing here. We do have the Deadly Dispute to sacrifice our Shambly Boy onto the Eye Twitch. We have the Infernal Grass to get rid of the Hive of the Eye Turn. Okay. They're going all freaking in. Do I have anything in here that I care about? I do not. And I don't want them to have the mana, do I now? No, I do not. Oh my. Okay. Interesting. 
Think they're going to get rid of the, uh, you know, the little... Yeah, that is the thing that I wanted you to get rid of. Perfection. Freaking perfection. Alright, hive the eye turn your guns. Oh, oh no, one life, the horror. I kind of want to keep my Sorin in reach, you know, for, for thanks. There might be a situation one day where I need to, you know, get the thang. Alright, what are you getting yourself? A confront the past? You getting yourself a confront the past? They do get themselves a confront the past. Well, you're never going to play that. You're never, ever, going to freaking play that. Decline, sadly, we have to decline you here. Wish to know my secrets? Very well. And uh, we're doing it all? Like bringing back our shambly boy here? Seems about right. Yes, thank you very much. Go oh, <laughs> they really had another one? They really had a third of Nixilis? They really did? Oh my sweet lord. Okay. Well, what you gonna do about that now? <laughs> okay. That's terrifyingly lucky, man. Three of Nixilis, man. And not even 20. Kark. Get out of here, man. Get freaking out of here, man. Okay. All right. So we're going with the life linker here this time. And uh, just snacking in. I'm busy. Yeah, we're just snacking in there. Holy freaking Toledo's, man. Three up Nixilai. Just like that. But it doesn't happen at all, you know? You can bring all the up Nixilai. You can bring four up Nixilai if you want to. Which makes eight up Nixilai. I don't care. Not in the slightest. Not in the slightest. Alrighty. So, we are going in with uh, this one. Gaining ourselves some life back. Yes, yes. They have a kill spell, don't they? They do not have a kill spell. Alright, I like that. I really do. Really do like that. Reveal this land. Yes, why not? Why the living not heck knowledge. not? A fair trade. What do I have in here? More shamly boys. Let's bring back the shamly boy. Give him one mana. What does it even do for them? Nothing, I tell you. Deadly dispute in hand? Deadly dispute in hand would be pretty nice. It's a land. It is a land. Okay, well, that's just glorious. Glorious, I tell you. So I feel like we do have nice defenses here. You know. Well, it gives him one life, but it also gives me a treasure. Okay. Making a treasure right away. Good, good. They tried to keep me low, you know. And they skip. Get out of here with your 45 of Nixilis. Shuffler. Shuffler. You really, really need to stop doing that. Going berserk, man. Your mind is a cloud. Your mind is a cloud. This was just the weirdest freaking day in a long freaking time. Of course it was. I haven't been playing Magic for way too long. But I haven't played so much some Battlegrounds and I even won some games. And that was just very nice. I liked it a lot. So yeah, tomorrow there will be the pre-release event for the new set. Will I be playing it a lot? I don't know yet, man. I don't freaking know yet. But I will be playing the pre-release event. Of course, I got invited by Wizards of the Coast. And I could never, you know, never be doing all of these amazing things without all of these people on this amazing list. If it weren't for your support, there is so little I could do. And thanks to all of you watching. You know, all of you being freaking awesome. Pushing those buttons down below like there is no tomorrow. Wizards knows who I am and they invited me. Like all the other cool kids in class. So thank you all so very freaking much for supporting the channel. Ongoing support the channel. Like we're on our way to 14 freaking thousand. 14,000. Can you even imagine? Can you even... Like try to see 14,000 people in one place. All watching you. That is bananas man. So from the bottom of my heart. Thank you all so very freaking much. And uh, yeah. I'm back baby. I'm freaking back in style so if you want to check out the patreon and a membership be amazing as these people on this amazing list you can always support the mass of mono black by pushing that little button down there but hey always think of yourself first 
If you don't have any harder cash share, don't you worry about it, sweet summer child. You can always push that subscribe and notify button. And of course, like the video, share it with your friends, tell them all about me. All right, so thank you also very freaking much. I'm Max Malone, the mass of Mono Black. And every morning you look in the mirror, remember that all of you are pretty freaking sweet. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.